I broke camp over at Good Enough Creek Campground. Really enjoyed my stay there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back. I just thought since I'm so close to the town of McCammon that I'd go ahead and check it out. And we can see population 805. Got to stop in the post office here and get some stamps and get some mail off. So it'll be interesting to see how this little town is here. Welcome to McCammon. Could be McCammon, I'm not sure. Little Rock Cafe off to the left there. Neat in Gramps Auto Repair. Wonder if Gramps is still running that place. A lot of uh, vacant buildings here so far. That's a neat one. Quiet day in McCammon. This old motel, look at that. I'm gonna have to stop, get some pictures of that. Looks like another old garage. This looks like a little park here. Well, this would be the town of McCammon. Not a whole lot going on here. It's warming up today. It's supposed to be 85. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 91 in this area. Might have to seek out a shady camp spot. It's only about noon, so I think I'm going to head over to Lava Hot Springs just to see what the town is like. Not really sure if I'm going to actually go to the Hot Spring Resort. Did do some research on it. It's only $6. The pools are like 102 degrees. On a hot day, it's not really sounding too uh, inviting, so <laughs> I might just skip it. Okay, we're gonna pull into Lava Hot Springs. Gosh, it looks pretty through that canyon up there though. I guess I'll just get some information on the place. It looks like they have a normal temperature pool, the big water slide. I'm just not feeling it. Seems like there's a lot of people here, a lot of kids anyway. Boy, I would have missed it. Yeah, there's a few big groups of kids here. Just kind of want to check out the little town, if anything. Little library. Oh, it's kind of neat. All right, there's a lot of people here. My goodness, I'm a little overwhelmed already. Not my kind of scene. I just turn around up here. A hot dog stand. Yeah, a little too jammed up around here for my taste. Glad I checked it out. Now I know what it's all about. I'm more into swimming in rivers and lakes. Water parks really aren't my thing. Got a nice big pool, but it's just packed with kids. It's like a water slide going right over. Okay, well that was interesting. Well, I did a little bit of research. I'm going to continue on, head towards American Falls, and I try to find a camp spot on the Snake River. See how it goes. 
Oh, I can see the river off to the right. It's a big river, Snake River. This is our pipeline drive. Looks like a pay or a dirt gravel road. Oh, I can see river. Oh, it's supposed to be over 90 tomorrow. I'm sure this river is quite cold, but I just may end up going for a swim. Of course, being right next to all these farm fields, I'm sure you get a nice dose of pesticide runoff. Maybe that'll keep the bugs off me. Oh, wow. There's a lot of people here. Dang. It may not be a spot for me to camp. It looks like there's one open spot and it's all wet and muddy. That's why there's nobody in it. Well, I took a walk up here, talked to a couple up here in their RV, super friendly. They said, come on up, there's a spot over here. So I'll be right by the water. A little village in here. It's like they have a vault toilet. Well, there is a spot right by the water. They were kind of joking. They said, my job will be to look out for these boats. That'll do it. Well, I'm settled in here at my camp at Pipeline Campground near American Falls, Idaho. Uh, it's pretty cozy here. That's not a lot of uh, seclusion as far as the campsites go. It's a pretty small campground. Give you a little shot around here. You can see there's a little camping area here. It looks like there's a big group. There is a vault toilet up this way, and this is the parking area for the boat ramp. You can see there's a few vehicles parked here. And this is my little campsite right here. Got my chair and table set up. There is a little fire ring and a couple benches, one there, one right here, and a picnic table, and I'm right under the pipeline. I need to ask around and find out what this pipeline actually is. I'm assuming it's like natural gas or something. I have no idea. And I am right by the boat ramp. And there's a little dock here. The water is actually not that cold. The current is extremely strong, so I may go in for a quick dip. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, definitely a cozy spot here. Fortunately, everyone here is super friendly and nice, so I'm enjoying that. But pretty sure this will be just an overnighter for me. I did find another spot about an hour from here west on the Snake River as well. And it sounds like it's a little bit more like dispersed camping. This is definitely uh, a campground. It is free. You can stay up here up to 14 days. There is no trash facilities, no water, and they do have the vault toilet there. I'm just gonna chill out in the shade. It's supposed to be like 93 tomorrow in this area. So I'm gonna get up somewhat early, get to the next spot before it gets too hot. And hopefully that'll be a little bit more swimming friendly. We'll see how it goes. Otherwise, we'll check in a little bit later. Well, it is dinner time, so I'm gonna go ahead and get something mixed up. It is pretty warm in the van, so I'm gonna cook outside today. Show you what I got going on here. Just got the stove set up outside on my little table. I'm gonna do something real simple. I had this kind of in the van as backup food and I just don't feel like doing a whole lot of prep today. So I'm gonna boil this up. It's like a chicken fettuccine. It's got a creamy chicken flavored sauce, it says. Not the best thing for you. It's got a lot of sodium, but I'm gonna add some fresh broccoli to it. And I'm gonna use the uh, clarified butter instead of the butter that they called for. Get this water boiled up, looks like it's already set. So I'll add that clarified butter and then the ingredients here. I'm just gonna put everything in all at once. Just kinda let that broccoli steam in there. Boil for about seven minutes. Let's stand for about two minutes. Okay, let's take a look. We got the heat turned off. Boiled that for about seven minutes. Let it sit for a couple minutes. Looking pretty darn good. And the broccoli's looking nice. I had to serve that up. Might have a little bit of leftovers, but we'll see. I'm pretty hungry. We'll give it a little taste test here. Get some noodles and some broccoli together. Not too bad. It's a little salty, but pretty good. That'll work for dinner.
Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.